gameplay personal inventory tier zero okay asset management v1 i believe we're going to be supposed to be getting v2 but i guess they're dropping this with v1 initially all right with the implementation of personal inventory players will now physically store weapons gadgets consumables healing items and more on their person in vehicles via backpacks pockets and containers Woo! i just saw a word i saw a word i'm not gonna get to it before i get to that before i move on okay so it says the kind of things that we'll be able to store will be weapons gadgets consumables healing items and more on their person so what are, what are, what are more you know what because it seems like everything here are usable items i kind of don't want everything that's lootable to be usable items i kind of want items i kind of want to also find items that are strictly just for selling and are of high value or of high value you know what i mean so i want to be able to find and not only just usable items but you know items that storekeepers are looking for that way i can take it and barter or take it and sell it directly and just get auec for it for high value if you find some unique um non-usable items that are um rare and of high value I think that, that would be some good good incentives instead of just making just strictly usable items. And I hope they mix that in there. I hope they mix that in there. Some items that we've never seen. I'm sure they do. Right? I'm loving this music. I'm going to do a video of with this music. Just to let you guys know, by the way. Um, this utilizes the new iCache for persistence wherever players travel. You guys don't even understand how big this is. Guys, it's official. iCash is being utilized right now. iCash is partially online and it's on its way into our hands. This is super exciting for me, man. Because what this means, for those that are, don't know, is right now in 314, if you're a mid-flight in space somewhere and you decide to log off or there's or you crash right the game crashes on you you look you essentially respawn when you log back in you have you respawn back at the last station you were at and your sh your ship will be labeled as destroyed and you have to reclaim it so now what i cash will allow us to have is persistence where let's say if you crash at a particular location mid-flight somewhere or in space somewhere if you crash and you log back in you'll respawn right back at the same spot with your character being at the same place doing the same thing right this is huge because that means we don't have to worry about losing our cargo to 30ks anymore you know and i think that's big we don't have to worry about you know wasting time tra traversing to certain areas because sometimes traveling does take time and let's say you make it out to um once one side of the star system and you forget to go save your spawn point at a space station we don't have to, we don't have to worry about that anymore so now what i do hope is even if you log off in your what I will want is if you log off in your ship, in your in your in the seat of your um ship or your cockpit, right? And you log off like that. If I log back in, will it spawn me in the same position, in the same, in that same vehicle, at that same very same spot that I left it? I hope they do something like that. But I think they may not. I think they'll only allow it for ships that have beds where you can log off on. You know? All right. I got to get myself ground vehicles now. Absolutely. There's going to be a reason for ground vehicles now. I like that. Um, You need some. You need someone to stand by far away. Just in case someone bombs it. <laughs> That's true. 
that's true maybe collectible items that can be placed somewhere on your ship like statues and figurines absolutely 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 i hope so you know what they have been testing um souvenirs that you can buy at the stations and, and things of that nature pico you know what i mean so i can see them making having uh lootable items like that where you can literally just loot it take it to your ship and just put it anywhere on your ship and it'll, it'll persist you know what i mean it will persist right that's that's what i those are the kind of things i'm looking for like if you if you organize if you decorate your ship a little bit with a few souvenirs that you bought or found and you can just leave it as you design as you designed it you know what i mean um those are some of the exciting things i look forward to man one step closer to the finished version of star citizen absolutely one step closer this is big i didn't really expect i cast a drop like this but uh i'm really excited for it um almost in the beta spots um i'd say beta would be when the server mission drops that would be one of the biggest things and not the biggest thing in this in star citizen yes 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 in star citizen there are big features that are paramount um that they want to do quantum is one of them um server meshing is one of them and another one is iCache so iCache is big so i'm just i'm just super excited uh that we're seeing this and even with quantum they already started um using quantum already with with our um refineries and and i think there's some other things that they're going to be using um quantum in for this this coming patch i forget which which things they said it was going to be but they're starting to iteratively use um quantum as well so three two, two of the big big pinnacle um big uh features that we're expecting they're finally we're finally starting to see them you know